Welcome back, it's your lousy Florida gardener here. Today we're gonna to talk about fertilize. Most people, when you're first getting into gardening, you, you kind of get confused on that because of the overload of information from the internet. Anytime when you get on the internet and go to reading or you talk to your local co-op, first thing they tell you about fertilizers is you need a soil test. In all practicality, if you study soil tests, you'll find out if you take samples from four different parts of your yard, you have four different readings of what you need. If you have plenty of time, plenty of money, yeah, every different variety you plant, go get a soil test, find out what you need. In the real world, for the rest of us, you can take a more practical approach. Your plants will tell you what they need as you learn about them and learn to watch them. If you understand what the numbers on a bag of fertilizer mean, and that, that's what we're gonna talk about today. There are several varieties of fertilizer, and as the season goes on, we'll go through each one. I'll show you how to use them. Uh, organic, compost, granular, water solubles. So look, we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you what those numbers mean, what those numbers do for each thing in the plant, and how to figure out in that bag of fertilizer how much of that product is actually into it. So let's come over here and we'll look at a few bags of this fertilizer. Now what you're looking at in this cart is just a selection of fertilizers. There are many others out there, but what I'm gonna show you is gonna to apply to all of them, but we're gonna use these to base our point. So one of the first ones we're gonna talk about is one of the most widely used, 10, 10, 10. Now before we can really get into the specific numbers, I need to tell you something real quick. In granular fertilizer, there are really two basic types. There are blends, and there are homogenized. A blend is where they take the, the different products, pour them in together, and they mix them. That's a blend. This will all make sense in just a minute. A homogenized is where they take all those different products, they mix them in and blend them, and then they cook it down, so to say, and then they regranulate it. What that means is, is every in a homogenized, every piece of fertilizer, every single round piece has everything in it. Where with a blend, you have everything there, but it's just blended together with each individual component. They both have their uses. We'll discuss them throughout the season. Uh, not so much today, but you need to understand that to understand what I'm fixing to show you. So let's break these numbers down. In a bag of 10, 10, 10, if you want to find out how much of each product is in there, let's back up. These numbers represent what, what's in this and what it does for the plant. Your first number is nitrogen. Your second number is phosphorus. Your third number is potash. Nitrogen is going to be your greening of your plant, your growing, your vegetation, your leaves, your fronds, whatever. Phosphorus is going to be help develop roots, help promote blooms, flowers, fruit, produce seeds. That's what that number does. Your potash, which is your last number, helps develop strong roots, helps promote growth, strong stems. So, so as you watch your plants and you see them lacking, if you know what these represent, then you know what type of fertilizer to amend or add with what you're adding so that you can make that plant fix its problem and so that's the importance of that so let's get in here and understand if we want to know how much nitrogen is in here these these numbers represent percentages but it represents percentages over what the whole bag is so there's a formula for that that you can use we're starting with a 50 pound bag you take the size of that bag and multiply it by the percentage of what's in that bag in other words if we have 10% nitrogen and we want to know how much of that 50 pound bag is nitrogen, then we multiply the 50 pound bag by the percentage of nitrogen, which it'll be a 0 0.10, which will give us five pounds. Five pounds of this bag is nitrogen. Same thing for the phosphorus. There's five pounds in here because we can take our 50 pounds and multiply it by our 0.10, five pounds. Okay, same thing on our potash. There's 10%, 50 pound bag, we have five pounds. So what that tells me is, or tell, should tell you, there is 15 pounds 
of total fertilizer in this bag, in this 50 pound bag. That means 35% of this bag is something else. That's where you get into your homogenized and your blend. So I'm gonna pull you up a little closer here to look at this label down here that tells you what that made of and explain that to you. Now, generally, if you look right here on the back, it'll tell you that total nitrogen. Now it breaks that down in the monocle nitrogen and urea nitrogen. What that is, this has a time release component in it. So part of that, and, and there's a little more to it than this, but this is the basic principle to not as to overload you. Part of that is readily available. When you put it out and go to water, then it's gonna go to working right then. The other part is gonna feed out over a time period, a slow time period. So that's what that is. Some of these 10, 10, 10s you see, that won't be shown that way. That nitrogen will just be either ready to release or time release. Then it shows you your available phosphate and your soluble potash. Now, when you get down here to this sulfur, chlorine, and then some things that's not listed, that's that extra 35%. Now, that's the difference between a blend and a homogenized. A homogenized usually has micronutrients in it. We'll talk more about that later on, but micronutrients are things such as manganese, magnesium, zinc, different things, and, and some of your plants will need that, and uh, we'll discuss that when we get into that on how to, how to use those products. But for today, we're just gonna stay with a simple blend. So let's look at another bag here and make sure that you understand what we're talking about here on figuring these percentages. Now the bag that we're looking at now is what they call palm tone. This is a 20 pound bag. The makeup is 415. Now if we use that same formula, we have 4% nitrogen. We convert that to our decimal. It's a 20 pound bag. That allows us to see that there's 0.8 pounds of nitrogen to this 20 pound bag. We do the same thing here on our one, and that'll lead us to know that there's 0.2 pounds of, the, of phosphate. No, yeah, 0.2 pounds of phosphate in this bag, which is a little less than a quarter pound. And then on our potash, we have 5%. We convert that to our decimal, multiply it by our 20 pound bag. We can see that we have one pound of potash. Now, in this 20 pound bag here, this is a specialty fertilizer. If you look here, you can see that it also lists soluble, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, and over here a different list. Those are those minor elements. With this being a specific fertilizer, it is gonna have those. So let's look at one more, just to be sure that you're understanding what we're talking about. This is a bag of mill organite, slow release, very popular with lawns and gardens around the south. You can see that the analysis of this fertilizer is a 640. It's in a 32 pound bag. So using that same formula, we can see that we have 6% nitrogen. So if we multiply that times our 32 pounds, you'll see that you have 1.92 pounds of nitrogen in here. Available phosphorus, which is that four. You can see if we use that same formula that 0.04 times 32 pounds, we have 1.28 pounds of fertilizer in this. So what that tells us is there's just under three and a quarter pounds of fertilizer in this bag. Now, once again, this is a, a use specific fertilizer. So you can see here that it, it lists in that nitrogen some water soluble, which is ready to use as you put the water on it. And then a water insoluble, which is so it can feed out over time. If you was to read on this bag, it would tell you how long it takes for that to feed out that slow release. Here you see that we have iron and calcium in this. Uh, we'll learn about what those do for plants as we go, but this kind of falls into the greening up and uh, holding blooms, flowers, different things. So that should give you a little better understanding of, of how what you're looking for in a fertilizer. And my understanding that that nitrogen is to do with greening and growing and vegetation, that, that tells you what part of that you need. If you look at your plant and it doesn't seem to be putting on the amount of leaves that you think it should. So same way with the phosphorus, potash, allows you to be able to select what you need and narrow it down. There are some other options and we will go over them as the season goes on, such as you have fertilizers that just have that only number, nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, specific blend fertilizer. I wouldn't suggest with most of you starting with that because that gets into the critique. You could work your way up to that as you learn. So let's just kind of stay with some of the, the more commercially available blended type fertilizer. 
There's some water soluble fertilizers. Those are nice. You'll see me use some of those, especially in potted plants. Uh, you also have organic type fertilizers, compost, cow manure. You'll see me use a lot of cow manure. Uh, those are really nice. Now, if time and finances allow, organics are the way to go. Unlike a blend type fertilizer, that fertilizer your plants use what they can, the rest leaches out, leaves nothing in your soil as far as beneficial nutrients. Where organic things such as cow manure, they do. So uh, as, as the fertilizer nutrients are gone, you're leaving that compost there, which is building your soil. So by all means, if, if you have time to use that, it definitely has its benefits. It, it is costly. You'll see me use some here and there, but because of my time schedule and, and the enjoyment, you'll see me use granulars more. Good morning. morning. You doing all right? Okay. So as we go throughout the year, I'll introduce you into some specialty fertilizers and we'll, we'll go over what some of those micronutrients are that are in those fertilizers so that you better understand that and talk about how they improve that plant. So I hope this has helped you understand a little more about different fertilizers and how to use them, what you're looking for, and how to read those label bags. Thank you.